Welcome back. As promised, now for our red card, yellow card play on segment. Uh, Mikey gives us a bit of a hot take, and then we we decide whether it's worth a red card. Not true at all. Yellow card. Meh, I see your your point of view or play on absolutely one hundred percent. I'll try and figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it last week, no, but uh, week two, I, I think I've got it this time. But we'll see. Um, Mikey, take it away. For sure. Let's let's get started. I'm going to throw it to you first, James, as you know. I always have one for at least each of you. Yeah. And, James, I'm going to say Newcastle United will finish ahead of Liverpool <laughs> in the Premier League table. That's a record. That's not happening. I understand where you're coming from here. I, I love the way Newcastle's playing. I really do. They're playing with real gusto. They're, they're defensively superb compared to the old Steve Bruce era, which seems so long ago now, doesn't it? Um, they're scoring goals. Uh, Almiron's going to be the golden boot winner. You know, he's going to take over <laughs> Harlan's record by about you know March. Um, everything's going right there. They're going to spend about a bajillion pounds in, in January. Um, but you've got to earn it first, right? And Liverpool are, I know I'm biased, right? But they are so much better than they've shown so far. They're trying out some new things, new formations. They're going to get it together. They are. A month off of Salah isn't a bad thing for the World Cup. Um, by the end of it, Newcastle will be very much on that periphery, looking into Champions League, close round there, um, but they won't be in there. So, no, that's a red card. That's not just that. That's a suspension. <laughs> Any rebuttals? No, I'm, I'm yeah, with James as well. Yeah. I'm totally with James. Yeah. Uh, um, Newcastle, so what Newcastle have done, they have the money now where they have, they, they've bought a floor. So now they're going to be within the top half. And in, come January and the next window and the window after that, they're going to keep buying and building this team. But... This season? No, it's it's not the time. All right, we got a bunch of Liverpool believers in here. Um, so I'm going to throw to you next. Uh, you just talked about him, and it's about Lionel Messi. I'm saying Lionel Messi will remain with PSG beyond this season. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. It's, it's so hard to say. Uh, I think if he wins the World Cup, he will have done it all he will be so content that i think he would come back to barcelona just to kind of end his career there he never wanted to leave barcelona i don't even think to him necessarily the, how barca are doing right now matters i think what matters more is what's happening upstairs because they really sh like forced him out the state of how barca's playing obviously isn't great but if you put messi in there i you know 10 out of 10 times you're going to be changing the way you play and i think he would love to work with xavi but i do think if that if Argentina doesn't win the World Cup, maybe. I don't know. I think he... It's really going to affect him mentally, I think. And I'm curious to see is how he even... Will he even continue playing football? Maybe he'll just retire. Because it's, it's so hard to say. I see pros and cons for both sides, but I think we will only find out after November. That narrative changes almost every day. Yeah. And I noticed you didn't mention MLS there for whatever reason. <laughs> which, I don't know. It's a tough one, Messi though, has it? respect for I mean, himself. Yeah. I think so much depends on what happens at Barcelona right now and what happens with Xavi. Yeah. And, you know, like you said, Sarah, you nailed it. Like, it's above these guys. It's mm -hmm. the, the mess above them, you know, what happens. He's not going back to a gong show. He's going to go back to, uh, you know, a well-oiled machine. And mm -hmm. if they can figure things out um, in time, then, you know, I can see him moving back there for sure. But it's got to be the right fit. Yeah, yeah. and I think they have to be in the Champions League. I think that's, that's very important. Yes. I think Barcelona needs to finish in a, either win the Europa League or finish in a position where they can be in the Champions League next season. I don't know if it's at the end of... You know this tenure at PSG, but at, at some point he's going to go back. Mm -hmm. So it's just card. yeah, it's oh, yellow, yellow card. card. Yeah. It's tough yeah. to know when. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. with Sarah. Yeah, that narrative, like I said, changes almost every day. Um, throwing my guy Alberto over here, and we, we know what's happening. We've talked about oh. they're not great right now. So I'm going to say Antonio Conte will be sacked as Tottenham Hotspur manager before the end of the season. No, 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 he won't be sacked. Red card. No, he won't be sacked. Um, we have to remember, you know, Spurs, okay, they're, they're in a poor run of form. The, the performances haven't been great, which we've been talking about, but they're still in the top four in the Premier League. Uh, they just need a draw. They're top of their Champions League group, just need a draw to get through uh, during the next Champions League match day. Tough right. one in Marseille. Yeah, it is a tough one, but you got to think about the position that we're in. You still have, you know, Harry Kane, who's one of the best strikers in the Premier League. You still have Son. You still have these players. They, they invested in him, in him, in his team in the summer. They're going to invest again in January and the window after that. And Conte keeps saying, we need a couple more windows. So they're not going to sack them. They're heavily behind him. Uh, Daniel Levy has invested a ton of money. If, if we know anything about him, when he invests that money, he doesn't like letting go of it either. So I think Conte stays. 
God is gone. <laughs> I don't want peace. I want problems. He is not the coach no. for Tottenham. There's no way. I don't trust this guy. I never trusted this guy coming in. Their football is terrible. There's no way this guy is staying there. We don't even know. Terrible football doesn't really mean anything. They're getting results, right? At the moment, are they getting results? Well, look at the no, you just said they're in. not. No chance. I don't. If they continue, okay, I will say. I mean, unless there's like a severe, you know, change of form and, you know, we see the players that are currently there, Son, Kane, Kulisevsky, whomever, stay at Tottenham. That's one thing. But if it continues like this, especially if we see Kane leaving, no way Conte is staying. I don't even think he's happy there. He looks uh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing on here as well. Um, it just, just With a caveat, though, yeah. in, in that, um, I think it could be an amicable separation, which is what they say when, when they don't want to fire him, but he wants out, you know, um, just because he, he quits teams yeah he's renowned for it right <laughs> last year he was saying he's going to quit after about a month in the job january's <laughs> approaching if they don't back him yeah um and if things continue the way they're going the team that can't play 90 minutes of football and i know on the table they look great right, right now but it's not that impressive from what i've seen so far so i think he will leave um it may not be a firing per se but he's gonna leave and in comes the prodigal son Notice you're waiting in the wings. Yeah. Waiting in the wings yeah. and there you have it all right so yeah i think we're out we're out of time by the way <laughs> that, that was good. fun though We'll do this for you at some point as well. We'll yeah. be using cards, right? So I uh, hope you enjoyed that, everyone. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the week of Room 442. Enjoy the games this weekend. We are back on Monday. Same time, same place. Cheers for watching.